the Trump re-election team is now making light of and actually fundraising off of all those false claims the president made this week about the projected path of Hurricane Dorian. In fact, now for 15 bucks, you can buy a set of these black markers inscribed with the president's name. A nod, of course, to the doctored map that he showed in the Oval Office, in which a marker was clearly used to extend the storm's cone to show that it threatened Alabama. This is what's become Sharpie Gate. The Washington Post and now the New York Times appears to have matched the reporting that it was the president himself who made this change. Joe, you've worked on a number of campaigns. I, I just wonder your thoughts about how the Trump team is actually spinning this map snafu and fundraising off of it, trying to capitalize yeah, they're, off of they're it. They're trying to capitalize on it. it it's that's. We've seen that before, but nothing on on this scale for something like this, where the they're not embarrassed. Clearly, no, not about embarrassed. This. Well, actually, in trying to get over the embarrass by, embarrassment by not only doubling down, tripling down, but it's a you know this is just a reminder, I think, to a lot of people out there. Listen to your local weatherman, weather person uh, report. Uh, not uh, they've got better technology than a than a sharpie, and uh, but I think they are. Look, they're they're trying to get. Um, turn the lemon into lemonade is what's going on here, which is not a, it's an, it's an old trick in politics. I'm not sure it's going to work. But it's another, it's another sign of the president trying to say, don't believe what you see. Don't believe what he calls fake news. Don't believe the facts. Don't believe the truth. Matt, even at Fox News now, there seems to be a divide over what happened with this altered map. Watch. Some things in Trumplandia are inexplicable. This week's edition, the president's ongoing claim that Alabama was at risk from Hurricane Dorian. It wasn't. Maybe he got some bad info from somebody. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe he was confused. We don't know. But he was wrong. Pretty much every newsroom in America screwed this up uh, and lied to you by accusing the president of lying. What he said about the earlier models about Hurricane Dorian, that it might hit Alabama's troops. Well, we, you know, have never heard of a president behaving like this before Trump. The campaign is literally selling Sharpies, Matt. They are playing it up. So in the end, does it even hurt him? I don't know whether to admire the moxie or be repulsed by the brazenness. But, I mean, look, if, if a normal person made a mistake, made an error, and then had a lame attempt to cover it up that was exposed... Uh, you would be super embarrassed and all your friends would turn on you and you would be a joke. But it doesn't happen with this president because A, he is shameless and B, his friends like Sean Hannity rally around him and gaslight us and tell him that we're the ones who are, you know, it, it's our lion eyes. Uh, this is weird. And I'll tell you, we need to put in perspective how weird it is. You know, in politics, there are times things that define people and unfairly sometimes. Right. So Muskie may or may not have cried in New Hampshire, but that's what people remember. George H.W. Bush didn't really wasn't really, you know, confused by a by a scanner at a grocery store. But like that is in his obituary. I think this type of thing with the with the Sharpie could be a defining moment in a normal person's life. It would be an embarrassing asterisk for a president to do. I don't think we're going to remember this a but, week from now. But Matt, yeah, you know, I mean, the other thing that's, that's I just horrendous here is that instead of urging people to contribute in some way to help the victims of the hurricane in Florida and up the coast and or the Bahamas, it's now don't don't give them your ten dollars, your fifteen dollars. Don't help them. Help me buy buy this sharpie. It's just a, an amazing. I mean, from a president of the United States, it just can't get much lower.